Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and it's time for episode number eight of our brand new Pokemon White playthrough here on the channel. In the last episode, we had finished up some grinding of a new addition to the team, as you can see the uh, team on the layout down below there. We have Sailor the Muna added to the team with... Uh, C word, the Dewat. Had to stop and think of his name for a second there. We then made our way through the uh, rest of Striaton City. We passed by the daycare, got some trainers underway, and got some battles, got some cash, got some experience, all that good stuff. Had some rants about other things I dislike about Gen 5, but that's for that episode. Then, turns out Team Plasma is up to Team Rocket's no good again, stealing Pokemon. They stole some poor little kid's Pokemon. It came down to us, myself and Charon, to get that Pokemon back. So, Charon has run off with the Pokemon to return it. We're going to show you who we have on our team. We've got Sailor first up, our Muna, at level 17. She's a relaxed Pokemon with the Forewarn ability. We've got the moves of Psybeam, Moonlight, Lucky Chan, and Yawn. And next, last but not least, of course, is Seaward, our level 18 Duot, our starter Pokemon, Rash Nature with Torrent ability. We have Razor Shell, Cut, Tail Whip, and Focus Energy. Alright, so I guess we're going to... Should we check out this cave a bit? One step. One step. <sighs> I want to explore the cave. I picked up a repel. You know what? I can't run away. Are you serious? You're not going to let me escape. Thank you. I've said before, I much prefer using or getting encounters for potential shiny Pokemon, what have you. I don't really care. I'm gonna use my revive or my revive my repel because I want to explore this place and just given how excessive the encounters are in this game, I don't mind missing out on a potential shiny. I want to explore the place. So this leads us to a simple item which we will grab. We get ourselves ooh thief. I'm pretty sure C word can't learn that because in current generations when I'm going, uh, going around hunting items for uh, from wild Pokemon. I'm pretty sure he can't learn Thief. Let's just take a quick look. He can't. Isn't that weird? Like, you'd think Thief would be a pretty common attack for, you know, most Pokemon to get. I mean, it's not as common as Hidden Power, because everything learns that, except Caterpie, Metapod, Weedle, Kakuna, Magikarp, um... <coughs> I forget. I'm not sure there's others. Spearbill could technically learn it, I guess. Alright. Chess, thank you so much! The two of you got our Pokemon back! I'm lucky to have friends like you two! Thank you, mister. Please take these as a thank you present. Heal balls. I won't use them, but thank you. Those are some cash right there. Oh, those are heal balls. They completely healed the captured Pokemon on the spot. How sweet of you. I'm going to see this girl on her way, so I'll see you later, Chaz. Bye-bye. Now, how does that little girl know that this wasn't completely staged by all of us? What if we recruited Team Plasma to do that just so I can get heal balls? Don't you think I should go back and heal? Probably. Ah, oh, my repel wore off. At least it lasted long enough for me to not get jumped in that cave. So we're going to continue our way towards the next town, wherever that happens to be. I forget what the next one is. I said before, I'm not very familiar with the names of the towns in the uh, Unova region. In fact, I didn't even remember that our starting town was Nuvema Town. That's how much I just glossed over this entire generation once I was done with it. Now I get to show off everything I learned in the trainer school. Which is... probably nothing. No, I'm not gonna down-talk your possible education. Ow. Ow! Did you go to Polk High? So, Sailor leading off against a Blitzel. Can't run away from this one. But hey, we're gonna level up to level 18 off of this thing. You old tail whip dropping my old defense, eh? Well, I think we can probably handle whatever you have coming our way. I shouldn't sound so gloaty and so uh, arrogant, because you never know what might happen. That's no problem. Was it this generation that they did this? Charge not only does what it used to do, it's going to double the power of the electric move on the next turn, but it also now boosts your special defense. It might have been in Gen 4 they started doing that, but definitely here as you just saw, which I guess makes sense, because if you're going to spend one turn using Charge and the next turn using Thunderbolt, you could have just used Thunderbolt twice, you know, and gotten the same amount of power off. So it makes sense that if you can delay your Thunderbolt till the second turn, you gain some other benefit from that. And that, of course, is Charge, giving you some special defense increase. I was so overwhelmed by your greatness that I forgot everything I learned. I need to keep my wits during a battle. I should do that, too. All right, we got ourselves an Antidote. I'll take that. Now, do we get attacked on our way out? Yes, we do. 
But we haven't been wild attacking quite a while. And hey, it's a pit of not super interested. Throughout all the different generations of Pokemon, I've collected a fair number of the bird Pokemon in every single region. Now, there's one space left. What do you think? No? Okay. I'm going to keep expecting random attacks. This I like. Chaz, stop. That tart, that, that, that tart doll grass over there. Every now and again, two Pokemon will pop out at the same time. In other words, you have to be careful in the darker grass. I'm heading on to Nacreen City. Well, thanks for the heads up. Now, this I do enjoy. Double battles in the wild. That's not a double battle. So, I said I enjoy the music of Gen 5. Wait till we find a double battle. I love the music for the double battles. It's basically, they have two kinds of wild encounter music. One is the standard encounter. The other is this. That right there. It's just so much more upbeat and exciting. And just the fact that you're going to have wild double battles. This is the first time you've had anything like this. This might be sort of a precursor to the whole uh, SOS battles of Gen 7. It might also be what led into uh, horde battles in Gen 6. Again, something I loved about uh, Gen 6 was horde battles. This kind of led into it. <coughs> Excuse me. Wild Pokemon, more than just one-on-one. -on -one. Certainly very cool stuff. All right, and we get a level up to level 19. Not bad, I will take that. We're almost at level 20. I can almost add someone else to the team who, until we get the next badge, will be basically switch fodder. Even if Pokemon have not been fully trained, they can show their potential depending on their trainer style. That's right, your trainer style might be to do contests. And I love doing contests. That's another heartbreak of this generation. <laughs> As I said, there's no ribbons. Essentially, there's no contest in this generation. Kind of. There is something similar to it. We will check it out once we get there, but to be completely honest, I didn't do it that much. Well, I'll talk more about that when we get to it, I guess. I don't want to spoil too much. I think... Where do? Where is the contest at? I believe we got to go across the big bridge to get there. Yes, we do. I know where it is now. All right, get this Woobat out of here. Another new species that we have not yet seen, I don't think. Or did we see it in the cave? I think we saw it in the cave. And I said before, that's like the Zubat of this generation. Despite the different typing, of course, it is a not-to-type, flying and psychic. But, like, it's a bat. It's in the caves. They could have brought Zubat back as well as that. Anyways. I feel sorry for Pokemon when they lose because their trainer lacks skill. A trainer has a huge responsibility. And, with great responsibility, comes great power. What do we get? We got ourselves a nice, powerful, great ball. That's some cash. I'm gonna sell that up once we get to the next town. Nacreen City is looming on the horizon. Wow, we didn't get attacked? That was unexpected. It's best to use what you have learned in order to master it. Yes. Hone your skills. Pick up a talent, pick up a you know trick of the trade, work on it, practice it, improve that so that you can be the best that you can possibly be at that. I should take that advice sometime. I've said before, I've never really wanted to be the best at something because you know, this could be just me being lazy, right? But my thought is, if you achieve the upper echelon of a skill, you have nowhere to aspire to go towards. I mean, well, no, you don't have nowhere. You can work, you can look at yourself and try to improve upon that, but I would think it might be easier, at least maybe in my case, to have an actual outside influence, another person, someone better than you in that talent that you're trying to perfect or at least get better at, and weigh yourself against what they can accomplish. Let's talk about, uh, well, like, you know, say Pokemon, for example. I watch other Pokemon YouTubers who do some really, really competitive battling, and they have such well-thought-out plans and strategies and stuff. I kind of, like, wing it, usually, but I would like to be able to battle a little bit better. So seeing what they do, it shows me that, oh, I can, I got to start thinking ahead like they do and stuff like that. So I always think it's better to have someone who you can look to for inspiration and encouragement, I guess, to improve yourself. So, that's my words of advice, anyway. Always, basically, it's like what Goku does in Dragon Ball Z. Always seek out a more challenging person in your field, so that you have something to compare yourself against. I'm mastering the lesson in three dimensions by experiencing it like this. Uh, what? I don't follow. But we got ourselves a nice awakening. 
I ain't sleeping on that one. Let's grab that. Let's sneak out through the two spots of grass here. Yes! No encounter. Encounter! Trainer. <clears throat> what you got on you? I was just thinking about a new battle strategy. Where are ya? So what's the big city in this region called? Mistralton? I think? I don't know. We'll find out. I believe... Oh! I'm starting to remember the layout now. So we're going to Nacreen City. That connects to the Pinwheel Forest. Which then leads to... Is it Sky Arrow Bridge? I think so. And then that leads to... Basically Manhattan, New York. We'll see that of course as we get there. I do remember hearing that this game, when it was coming out, is based off of the American region, you know, specifically to say New York. Hey, it's a new Geodude! Oh, wait a minute. Okay, this I kind of like as well. Uh, I'm gonna plug my phone in, it's almost dead. But, check this out. They have changed the way Sturdy works. No, lo no longer, but no longer, is Sturdy simply a matter of if your Pokemon's at full HP and would be one hit KO'd, Sturdy then kicks... Nope. That's not it either. That's Focus Sash. That's what this is. Uh, Sturdy is no longer an ability that protects against just one hit KO moves like Fissure, Horn Drill, Sheer Cold, and Guillotine. It now, if you're at full HP, as you just saw, you will survive a guaranteed one hit knockout if you're at full. And I really like what they did with that. It added so much more viability to certain Pokemon like, for example, Geodude, or as we just saw, Roggenrola. As we saw through our Ultra Sun playthrough, having a Magnezone with Sturdy is very beneficial. Let's just say Ultra Necrozma has something unexpected to deal with. I know all kinds of things, like if you walk through the swaying tall grass, you might find a cool Pokemon. You can find some massive experience points off of that Audino, indeed. But of course, other things might appear. I should have brought more Pokeballs. A Pokemon I wanted to catch just came out and I missed it. Ah, uh, well, it's too bad. Hello, trainer. I think potions are important for a trip. I mean, of course, if you trip and fall, you'd want to potion it up, wouldn't you? Uh... Silent, Chili, and Cress. And was victorious. I missed out on part of that. What else is on the news? Wondering what others are doing. Passerby analytics in Castelia City, that's what it's called. I'm bored. Alright, let's move on. Hi, I have some questions for you. If you want to play, which do you prefer, outside or at home? I have no preference. Depends on what you're talking about. Play what? <sighs> I guess? If I... I don't know, it's hard to say, because if I'm playing like a Pokemon game, I prefer to be at home. If I'm playing... Another Pokemon game, Pokemon Go, I prefer to be outside, so there's no preference. I see, I see. Then which one are you interested in? The thing everybody knows, or the thing nobody knows? What am I most interested in? I guess I would say the thing that nobody knows, because I would like to learn new things. And if everybody knows it, then I guess that would include me, and that means that I would know it. But if, if it's something I don't know, and everybody knows it, am I putting too much thought into this? I mean, if everybody knows it, it would be so easy to find out the answer to whatever it is. I would rather find it out on my own. I'm a practical, what would you call it, researcher. I like to learn on my own and feel accomplished by doing that. In my view, you're a person with common sense, which is not too common nowadays sometimes. We're here in Nacreen City, a place of a pearl. A pearl of a place, if I can read correctly. Hello, Charit. <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. Come with me a sec. Let's get you some cough drops, Chaz. Thank you, Charon. I'd appreciate that. I've actually got some here. I'll grab some shortly. If you go straight from here, there's a Pokemon Center. And use these if you want. Okay, not just the Pokemon Rangers give us items like berries. We get Chesto Berries from <gasps> Charon. Give your Pokemon a Chesto Berry to hold. And then if it ever falls asleep, it will wake up immediately. Oh, and another piece of advice. The Korean City's Gym Leader uses normal types. If you have a fighting type Pokemon, it might give you a big advantage. Really? Good to know. Now, a little bit of an easy thing they do here is we're near Pinwheel Forest and there is, what is it called? There's like a section just near Pinwheel Forest where a lot of fighting types show up. So they basically let you get a super effective Pokemon. I ain't doing that. Again, they're trying to hand too much to me in this game. I want challenge. Nacreen City is a highly fashionable and admired locale. Contrary wise, if you happen to be a bit ordinary, here that's cool in its own way. Well, I'm about as ordinary as you can get. See, I'm wearing just plain clothes. I don't got a Mega Charizard or Mega Charizard 2 shirt on here. Whatever I'm talking about. I heard that the fossils in the museum were found in Twist Mountain. 
Then a person called Clay apparently donated them to the museum. Hey! Sounds nice. When you choose help at the PC at a Pokemon Center, you can learn many things. It's so cool! Is it though? Probably is. Hi trainer, do you know a Pokemon called Audino? I just ranted about it. Last episode? This episode. I don't remember. It's a Pokemon that I find sometimes when I'm walking. It jumps out of rustling grass. It can get a lot of experience points. It's kind of a friendly Pokemon, isn't it? Until it learns Double Edge. And then, it kind of hurts a little bit. Not that much, though. It's not that offensive. Like I said, it's just, they teach it Heal Pulse to heal you while you're fighting it, and... They made it too easy. Does it still give that crazy experience nowadays, too? I haven't fought one in a long time. I'm gonna sell stuff that we don't need. Where are the... Pokeballs? Right here. We're gonna sell... All three Great Balls. Some good cash. How many Pokeballs we got? We got seven left. I'm gonna sell the Heal Balls as well. I'll probably buy some more Pokeballs, but I might want to get some more Potion. We got ten. We got four Supers. Probably good on the rest of that stuff. So let's see what we can buy here in Nacreen City. Let's grab another three Pokeballs. Uh, is that enough? Hang on, let's get stocked up on some potions. Let's get six of these. That's a lot of cash. Let's grab four of those. Potion, we still got ten. I think we're okay. And I think we're good. Should I get... Nah, we'll leave it for the time being. I don't plan to catch anything too soon. So I don't need to waste money on Pokeballs just yet. What do you sell? Heal ball. <coughs> Excuse me, nut ball. Greet mail, favorite mail, bunch of mail, never mail. I don't care. We ain't mailing nobody. I mean, I am male, I'm not female, but despite that, male's not my interest. Even though it's just an old warehouse, it's become so popular. It, make, it makes me take a second look at what I think things are worth. It makes me take a second look at what you're saying, because I can't read. That warehouse, they're selling something good inside. Ooh, why am I running this way, you might wonder. Oh, because there's an item, but I can't, can't, can't get to it. Ah, oh, I've been blocked. All right, let's see what's going on in here. Is this the warehouse you're talking about? Probably not. Berg used this warehouse until two years ago. Awesome. Also, who's Berg? When Berg's art, when Bar when Berg gets artist block, he comes back here to Nacreen City. That thing you have is a Pokedex, isn't it? Wow, cool! You collect Pokemon. Okay, I'll help you. Which Pokemon did you choose at the beginning of your journey? I chose Oshawott. Do you have Oshawott? Nope. Then, what is the Pokemon you chose at the beginning of your journey? I chose Oshawott. Do I have Oshawott? No. Well, let's say yes. You have Oshawath, and I'll give you this. When you let your Pokemon hold it, it can raise the power of water-type moves. I'll take that, Mystic Water. Thank you. A lot of items have effects when Pokemon hold them, so try to find them. Well, work hard to fill up your Pokedex. Good luck. Let's grab that Mystic Water right now. Let's give that to our good old buddy Seaward. Take that Orum Berry. And Razor Shell is now much more powerful and still 95% accurate. We're going to miss a bunch. Berg is an artist and also the gym leader in Castellia City. We want to be like him. Well, keep on practicing. Hone those bug type skills. You'll get there soon enough, I'm sure. So you guys selling something in here, I hear? I started a shop in this warehouse. Welcome. May I help you? Uh, ooh, we got the uh, in-battle items. Not going to buy them just yet. I mean... In theory, they should have come in handy during the first gym battle that we had, but didn't really help that much. Dire hit? You know, Nova, it's called dire hit. Huh? No difference? Anyway, in a battle, it's very powerful when a move is a critical hit. That is true. That's why we're kind of making good use of the old focus energy. I think I replaced it by now, though. Just now, I traded a Pokemon holding an item. So, it's like the item is a present. Indeed. DS Wireless Communications is great. You can trade Pokemon with people who are far away. That's great. Can I get through the door, please? Yes, that's great. Yeah, like I think I said back in... I walked into a door. I walked into a wall. Whatever. When I said back in Pokemon Pearl, I had kind of fallen off playing Pokemon a little bit with Sapphire in Gen 3 because there wasn't a lot of people that I knew played the game. But when Wi-Fi connection became a thing with Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, that kind of brought me back into it. Pokemon you get through trades grow up fast, but be careful. If a trade of Pokemon grows up too much, it won't listen to you. Like a certain Piplup we all know. But if you have a lot of badges, you'll be okay. Oh my, what a lovely trainer. What kind of Pokemon do you have? Oh, you're Muna. It's very friendly toward you. It must be happy with you. I hope so. Poof. Really? That's what you have to say to me? Hi, do you have a Pokemon called Petalil? Would you like to trade your Petalil for my Cottony? 
Nope. I ain't got one of those little whatever it is. It's okay if you don't want to, but if you want to change, or if you change your mind, let's trade Pokemon. I haven't done much trading in Pokemon Go as of late, but I mean, it's a cool thing that it's in the game now, which is really, really awesome. What is this place? My name is Loblolly. I'm a designer of decor items, but I'm stuck now. I just can't come up with a good design. I've been thinking about decor so great that it will appear in a dream. Well, good luck, Loblolly. What kind of name? Anyway, those old textile factories and storehouses were abandoned, but enterprising young people started using them as studios. That could be called the beginning of Nacreen City, the city of art. I do like art. I am not so much an aficionado of it, because I don't know what that means, but I've drawn comic books. I've mentioned before, Dotman. i got to look into this. I checked out Dotman.ca. It wasn't working. i got to get on the, uh, the old interwebs with my buddy Evan, see if we can get that working again. I play the guitar and have Pokemon battles every day. I keep doing that because I enjoy it. I'm a poet. I write poems. Every day, I stretch my imagination and devote myself to my creative activity. People dream when sleeping, but if a Pokemon dreams, I cannot even imagine how it is. Well, thanks to the... Entralink? Dream World? Whatever it was called? You could have found that out. <coughs> Excuse me, it was kind of cool. Little mini games you can play on the internet and stuff. Even the same kind of Pokemon can have different natures. Now, I won't have the ability to showcase the Dream World in this, because of course it is no longer a thing. If you didn't play through Gen 5, and you don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to Dream World and stuff like that, look it up on YouTube. I'm sure there's probably some footage of it. And it was a pretty neat little thing. It was connecting the video games with the internet. Like, back when it was kind of a not solid connection, I guess. They're kind of making it up as they went, it felt like. But it was still a neat little stepping stone. The Cafe Warehouse, try our delicious Wednesday specials. Well... Is it Wednesday? It is Wednesday. That's right, tomorrow is, uh, well, you're watching this on Thursday, but it's Wednesday as I record this, which means Thursday, today, as you're watching this, is my breakthrough day in Pokemon Go research. But that is nothing for you to worry about. Welcome to Cafe Warehouse, a stylish cafe in a rural area. Our cafe has a special on Wednesdays. Here, have a soda pop. Enjoy the taste of our speciality. Or specialty works as well. Alrighty, we got ourselves a soda pop. Not bad. 60 HP. As far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter that the cafe is in a rural area that nobody knows. All that matters is we don't have Pokestops around here. Rah, 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 rah. Rubble, rubble, rubble. Do you know about the battle box? Yeah, kind of. I heard it is a useful function you can use at the Pokemon Center. Did you know in Gen 7 you can get six battle boxes? The Striadon City Gym Leaders are a great triplet combo. They're also jerks. The Grass-type Pokemon user Silent chooses great tea leaves. The Water-type Pokemon user Crest prepares the best water. How do you prepare? What, what makes it the best? I guess maybe spring water. And the fire type Pokemon user Chili pours hot water at the right heat. <sighs> Doesn't that mean he's also part water type? That's misleading. Don't you mean he should simmer it at the right? Anyway, no wonder their tea is the best. But is it though? Yes, I know. If you have a wonder launcher, energy will be recharged and, sorry, charged, and you can use various items. So that's an interesting thing they did in the uh, battles, the, uh, PvP battles in this generation. When you battle with a friend using wireless communications, you can use items using a Wonder Launcher. The longer the battle goes on, and I think other things would affect the uh, charge, but you could charge up and it would give you options to use certain items in battle. So, although you can't use regular items in the battles, you could actually use these Wonder Launcher things, which I kind of didn't like, I guess. I prefer standard Wi-Fi rules where items are not a thing. But it was a neat little idea they had, and I'm not going to fault Gen 5 for that. They tried something new. It's no longer a thing, but it was an idea. This cafe has a special on Wednesdays. Thank you for the sodi pop. So we've only got a couple minutes left, but i got to go talk to this man right here. This might be the precursor to Weird Al Yankovic, because this man is using an accordion. How do you like the sound of accordions? Wait, should I try a Weird Al voice? He kind of has a normal voice. How do you like the sound of accordions? That's not him. I can't hear it. Are you playing it? Maybe you are. I don't even know. So I'm not going to leave town just yet. I mean, I could. In fact, I did. But I'm going to go back into town. Because I'm going to pop into the gym quickly. We'll take a moment to take a look around. Actually, no, wait. It's a museum, first and foremost. I want to see things no one can see. The truths of Pokemon inside Pokeballs. The ideals of how trainers should be, and a future where Pokemon have become perfect. Do you feel the same? Yeah. 
Yes? That so? I think my friends and I should test you to see if you can see this future too. Alright then! I didn't know N was here. Hello, N. Oh, you got three Pokemon. I've only got two! Back off! Pit of! Bring it on! What's this gonna do? Level 13. Alright, we're good. I ain't too concerned about this. <coughs> Excuse me, I did heal. <gasps> Level 19 coming up. Sweet. Oh, it's got quick attack. Oh, we're done for. Did you like my acting? I was acting scared. I wasn't scared at all. I don't like the fact we've just been leered, however, and they do have quick attack because they're probably going to use it right now. But still minimal damage. I guess I shouldn't complain about that. So down goes Pidov. Level 19. I'm getting kind of scared. We're almost at level 20, but we are here at this next gym. Hypnosis. <sighs> so we have Yawn, which is fully accurate, but takes two turns. Hypnosis is 60% accurate, or accurate, and it works on the very turn. But I'll tell you what. I'm gonna keep Yawn. Because it is guaranteed, but also, here's the thing, since Sailor is likely going to be slower than all the opponents that she faces, I can yawn on one turn, and... I mean, I guess you'd be guaranteed one turn of sleep regardless with Hypnosis as well, but yawn lets me switch out, you know, stuff like that. There's more things that I can do with yawn, I guess. We're gonna keep the old moves. Uh, give up on Hypnosis. <coughs> Excuse me, we don't need the Hypnosis, we got the yawns. Oh, <gasps> see? Alright, we got a Timple. Uh oh. This always happens to me! Whenever I even see the word yawn and talk about the word yawn, it makes me yawn. I've said this before. Also, we're about a minute past time right now. Whatever. Stop it! Dismiss. There we go. Um. Whenever someone yawns, you know how they say yawns are contagious? They can be, for sure. I am the most susceptible of anyone in the world, I feel two yawns. So if someone yawns, I'm pretty much guaranteed to yawn as well. But even just saying the word yawn, even if it's me who says it, can trigger me having a yawn. Hey, that thing's weak to psychic. That's our new Machop, everybody. Hope you enjoy it. It's like, I guess what I can start doing for the series is giving you a point by point breakdown of why I dislike certain Pokemon. That one just looks weird. I cannot see the future yet. The world is still to be determined. Right now, my friends aren't strong enough to save all Pokémon. Maybe I can't solve the equation that will change the world. So I need power. Power enough to make anyone else agree with me. Sounds kind of megalomaniacal. Megalomaniacal. There's the word I'm looking for. Now I know what power I need. Rashirum. Kazuntite. The legendary Pokemon that, along with the hero, created the Unova region. It's my turn to become that hero, and you and I will be friends. You... you and I? You mean? Or... Rashiram? What? Gazuntite, what's this guy going on about? Nacrane City Pokemon Gym Leader Lenora, and Archaeologist with the Backbone. Let's get out of here. We're gonna heal, because we're pretty much done. Actually, we are done for today's episode. So I want to say, folks, thank you for tuning in today. In the next episode, which... We'll be up on Monday. I mean, I don't know. See, I kind of want to do another episode over the weekend. I mean, I could. I'm going to have an episode sometime over the weekend as well, simply because we kind of missed a couple days last week in setting things up for our playthrough. So I kind of like having, say, episodes 1 through 5 in a whole week, 6 through 10 the next week, 11 through 15 the next week, 16 through 20 the following week, 21 through... You get the idea, but... I kind of want to get us on track, so I'm going to have a sixth episode of Pokemon White this week. In fact, I'm going to record it in just a moment. So stay tuned for that over the weekend. And if you enjoyed today's episode, though, feel free to leave me a like down below and just let me know the interest in the series. And again, feel free to uh, recap with me your precious memories of Gen 5, things that you liked, maybe things that you didn't like so much about it, kind of like what I'm doing talking about all these rants and complaints and stuff that I have. I'm sure it's entertaining. But if you want to leave me any comments, go right ahead. If you missed any episodes of Pokemon White along the way, there is a link in the description to the playlist, of course. You can also subscribe for some more regular Pokemon content here on the channel. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, Discord, or Instagram, I've got those linked in the description as well. So with that, it is now time to wrap things up. 
thank you for watching once again. Professor Chaz is signing off, and I will catch you next time.